All right, so last time we saw how to create an image post. So if, you, if you've if used Facebook for some time, you see that uh, when you change your profile image, it actually puts, puts a post here to say you've uh, changed your profile image. So we can easily incorporate that into our existing system uh, quite simply. So since we know now that uh, if we go to profile.php, we'll see that to create a post, we already have a class that does that for us. It's just a create post. And then all we have to give it is these three things, the user ID, the post data, and uh, the files data. So it's as simple as that. So, uh, in order to, to incorporate this into our profile image changing, we just have to create a post after uh, doing all this. So here where we save the data, right here in the covers and all this, and then we can simply create a post uh, right here about it. So this is in the change profile image.php. So I'm going to put a comment here and say create a post right there. Or we can do it after we save uh, into the database. That's fine because that's more important. So let's save there. In case any errors occur, we would still have saved in the database. So we just do it before we redirect. Now, wh what we need is the post class, which we actually included at the top here. So that's already good since we have it there. Now I can simply go to the profile.php and copy this part since this is the part that we actually need. So let me copy this and go to uh, change the PHP and then just post it there. Now in the interest of uh, not using the session uh, variable here, I'll simply uh, use the user ID that we're already using here, using user data. So I'll get that and uh, use that as the ID. So I'll just put it here and then I won't need this line anymore. So to create a post, we instantiate the post class and then we uh, post now here we don't need to check for a result whether things worked or not because um, we don't need to show the user that something went wrong in that situation they'll just see that the post didn't show up and uh, that's good enough so no need to return anything so post create post the user ID the post and the file so we have to make sure that these uh, files are accurate so first of all Let's check where we are we are getting this from. So now the issue that's going to happen here is that we've already created our image. Okay. We've already created our image here. And so we don't want uh, because when we say create post here, if we go to the post class here, you will see that it does its own move upload file sequence all over again uh, in here, okay? So we want to avoid this whole thing right here by adding an extra value in, uh, in here, the post data. So we're going to add something here which we will look for when we get here, okay? So let's create it in advance. We're going to call it uh, is profile image. So for our website to know that uh, this particular post is uh, for a profile image, we have to put something in the database. The same way we have put something here to allow us to know if it has an image. And so we can do the same thing for cover image and profile image. So let me go to the structure so that we can change it. Now that is the value we're going to be looking for here so that we skip this part and simply save the image file okay 
So let me come here and then I'm going to say uh, on the structure here, let me add two more and hit go. So I've added two more columns and the first column is going to be uh, is profile, which is uh, the profile image or is cover, which is the cover image. So we say is profile. You can uh, say is profile image uh, if you want to be more specific like this. And then the other one is going to be uh, is cover image so that we know that this post is a cover image or a post image. And we're going to use tiny int since we just want a value of yes or no, which is uh, zero or one. So we'll put a value of uh, one here and a value of one there. Okay, so we might need to search for this particular thing. So we will add some indices there. So let me save. All right. So you can add an index for each of these. Oh, is it still loading? Table has been altered uh, successfully. So let me go back to the browse side and then I can go back to the structure side again. Let me see the structure because I want to add some indices at the end here. So you can add an index here. So let's go down here is uh, let me go down here to more and then index okay i didn't need to actually tick and then i can go also to is cover image and uh, add an index there as well so once we've done that uh, that's well and good so now we can come back here and check for that. Okay. So if that uh, is profile or is cover is actually active, then uh, we need to skip this entire part here. Okay. So let's put that if statement here. Let's say if, because we're going to pass it in, in this data here. So we're going to say if is set, if we've set it, data is profile image okay or so let me copy that or it's set the one that says is cover image like that if those two are set uh, we will do something else then we'll put an else statement here and put the opening and closing bracket so instead of moving this whole thing here, I know it ends there. I'll simply duplicate this one and then uh, delete this one and move this whole thing inside with a tab key like so. So now what I have is that if uh, this is set, is cover, is profile, we do one thing. Uh, if it's not, we'll check if there's an actual file that we can upload so that we avoid uploading, re-uploading the same file. So if it is set, it means uh, we're going to have this uh, files right here is going to be the file data that we get, the file name of this thing. So we're going to say my image at this point is equal to files because now files is going to be the file itself okay and then uh, has image should also be updated to one because now it will have an image oh one not i there we go and then we leave uh, everything else everything else as it should be so this will be fine, uh, that will be fine, and we are done. I think this is going to work. So I doubt that we're going to touch this post uh, class anytime soon in the future because it seems it has everything we need. So all we have to do now is to go here where we are creating a post in uh, change profile image right here, create post. Now instead of adding these files here, post obviously uh, is empty at this point. 
so it doesn't matter what we actually add here because we are changing this and we don't have an actual post so what we could do is just simply create it here and say post uh, why i'm creating it here is because if we go back in here All right, so what I could add instead of doing what I want to do there is to simply check if uh, this exists before I try to add it to something. So I would just say if is set, it's always better to check and then uh, open uh, close bracket like that. Now, if it turns out it's not set, we will still need to add it here because uh, we have that so the variable should exist so what we're going to do is first set it to an empty string so that even if this is not true we'll still have an empty uh, variable here to add there to avoid an error so I think uh, this is all we can do for this one right here and so let me go back to change there and forget about doing that I might simply add this as an empty string here just in case it doesn't actually exist because we've posted something but actually it might exist since we are posting something so it's all good so i'll leave it there in case we get an error we'll do something else and these files here i'm going to replace it in this instance with a file name let me put it there and also I forgot something here. Uh, if I go back to the post class, since here we are putting has image, we also need to put is cover and is, um, is cover image and also is uh, profile image something like that so both of these should be up here and they should be at zero to start with so that we can still have them regardless okay and then we can update each one of these so let me just copy this is profile image I'm going to say if is set is profile image. Oh, oh, like that. Okay. If it's profile image, let's do that. And here, if is cover image, let me do that. Uh, move this here. like that so cover so is cover image is profile image then we update these so let me grab these two and actually add them to the query down there so comma is cover image comma is profile image well let me start with profile regardless so we are adding these and then let me copy that come here and uh, put a comma add these guys here not two commas just one and put the thing like that i can put the inverted commas if i want just in case like so okay i think uh, we are good to go here so let me go back to here to change profile and uh, everything looks fine as well here but i shouldn't forget to set yeah i should actually set it in here so i'm going to set it here because this one is a profile image is uh,
profile image like that is equal to one. So this should only happen if it's either a cover or a profile image. So instead of doing it here, I'm going to, to add an if statement again. I'm going to do it in here where I've already added an if statement. Okay. So first of all, I'm just going to set his profile image to zero. Actually to pass through one of these, so it doesn't really actually matter. Let me put uh, in here, this is for the profile. His profile image is equal to one and uh, here is cover image is equal to one. So if it passes through here, we'll get that, this cover image. If it passes through here, we'll get its profile image is equal to one. So since we are passing this in there, it's going to be received by the uh, post class right here. And it's going to check if one of these is uh, active, then it will pass through here instead of trying to upload an image. So I think uh, so far so good. So let me try that and uh, try to create one post by changing my uh, profile image. So let me change the profile image here. Oh, and one more thing I uh, forgot. Actually, no, everything is good, I think. So let me re-upload this image and go. There we go. So it seems like we didn't actually create a post. So let me go into the post uh, section here. Browse into the posts. All right, so if we go down here to number five, it seems we haven't created a post. So we have an error somewhere here. So we're going to find out what the error is in the next video. See you then.